Marcos Viegas here with Ronnie Shields. And uh, Ronnie, things didn't go your way here tonight, but the team, Brian and yourself, came away with a moral victory. I think many here in attendance felt you guys won the fight. Many more at home felt the same way. Just tell me what you're feeling right now. You know, talk to me. You know, what emotions are going through you? I feel disgusted. The system is broken. It's been broken for a very long time. And well, what can you say? You know, there's nothing more to say. I mean, I think they need to take these judges, show them how to judge, teach them how to judge. Obviously, they're not doing that because the system is broke. You know, coming into this fight, did you feel that way, coming in that scorecards might be skewed given, you know, his status? I never, I never think that way. I never tell my fighters to think that way because I don't want nothing to hinder their training. I don't want them going in thinking, uh, you know, they're going to steal it, you know. I mean, look, if this fight was real, real close, really close, I can understand, you know, one point, or the, one, 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 one way or the other, one point here, one point there. I can understand that. This fight wasn't close. Brian won at least seven rounds, easy, seven rounds. And one, one or two rounds could have been even. But Chavez did not, did not win this fight. Looking at just overall the experience and then what just happened as well, you know, what do you guys take away from this? Obviously a loss, but is there any lessons you can apply to the next fight or, or something positive I guess you can take from this? Nothing positive you can take from it. It's, that it's all negative. You know, you, you can't fight the fighter. You can't fight the judges. You can't, you can't win. <laughs> you know, you, you can't fight everybody. You have to fight yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, Brian did everything we asked him to do. You know, I mean, I'm sick of being on this side of it. You know, I mean, it don't make sense. You know, and people have to understand that, you know, boxing is such a great sport. This year is probably one of the best years in boxing. And then, you know, I mean, even when you look at Floyd Mayweather and Canelo, you know, the judge had it 114-114. What fight was she watching? Come on, man. Fix the system. Put people in there who don't, who are not biased. I mean, come on, man. This is this is boxing. This is, you know, these guys train hard. They work up. This is their living. This is what these guys do for a living. And these judges go home and, and do what? They they make their living. It, if they just judge or do they have another job, but this is what these guys do for a living, and you steal their living away from them. It's not fair. Does this at all make you want to walk away from the sport or maybe no. take a break from the sport at all? No, I've had many heartbreaks like this before. You know, when, when I was with Pernell Whitaker when he fought Chavez Sr. in San Antonio, same thing. Draw. You know, nobody in the arena thought Chavez Jr. deserved a draw. I mean, Chavez Sr. deserved a draw. They knew he lost. And, you know, you go have setbacks, and I understand that. But be fair. You know, you in this game, I think everybody has to understand why they're in this game. If you're in this game because you love it, be fair. If you're in this to take money on the side or whatever, then you shouldn't even be there. You know, this has to stop. Certainly fans would agree with you on that, and there's been a lot of bad decisions over the course of years in boxing. But uh, one thing that I feel that you guys can take away that's positive is Brian felt fought a heck of a fight and against a guy that was much bigger than him and at times pushed them back and you guys came in with a smart game plan against Travis Jr. as well. Yeah, I mean Brian fought the game plan. He did what we asked him to do. I'm very happy for him. Mm. Ronnie, thank you very much. Certainly you. appreciate it. Here wrapping things up in Carson, California at the Home Depot Center. Heard the words of Ronnie Shields. Very disheartened over the judges scores and I'm sure boxing fans all over the world certainly agree with him. But, you know, that, that is boxing, and Brian may be a, a victim of, of boxing business, so to say. Closing things up here, Marcos Vegas for the Boxing Channel.